Hey guys, Mega Man NG here, and this is the last of the multi battles we had today, about a few days ago. I team up with Mike while Pokemon Madness teams up with Sam. Links are in the description for their YouTube channels. Make sure you guys check them out, they do great content, and we're about to get this show started. Now, Sam's a really interesting one, you're about to see for yourself. Anyway, the battle starts off. Sam sends in Togekiss, and Pokemon Madness sends out Swellow. I meanwhile send out Primeape while Mike sends out Noivern. And Noivern does a Frisk and one has a Flame Orb, the other has a Spear Berry. And I'm pretty much asking, why a Spear Berry? I don't get it. Doesn't matter though, because Graceful pulls a Protect while Noivern goes for the Hurricane. Unfortunately, Hurricane missed, but I go up for a Rock Sled and it does hit Togekiss. Sadly, however, it doesn't do much damage. Togekiss goes for the Air Slash and it misses. And I'm like, yes, lucky. But sadly, Graceful goes for the facade and takes down Noivern in one hit. Ouch. Even stronger than my Noivern. I go for a Rock Slide hoping to do a lot of damage to both Pokemon and it does. More than half. But Jylin goes for the Air Slash and another miss. And I'm like, yes. This is actually too good to be true. But either way, Mike sends in his Metagross. And yes, I have a Metagross myself, but that's not the point. Graceful goes for the facade and facade takes down Primate. Ah well, at least he did his job doing damage with Rock Slide. Jay Flynn goes for the Air Slash, and this Togekiss is actually Serene Grace, which means it'll flinch. But sadly, it didn't work, and Metagross goes for the Meteor Mash, and it takes down that Togekiss. Due to it being part Fairy type in Gen 6, that's super effective, for sure. Unfortunately, however, Graceful only has one turn left before it dies from its burn. I send in my main neck trick while Sam meanwhile sends out his Crocodile, which is pretty nice. However, it goes for the Intimidate, but Metagross's clear body prevents stat loss. Unfortunately, my main neck trick suffers an attack drop, but I have to make a switch because I'm not going to get hit by that facade. And I make the switch to Sceptile, and Graceful does go for the facade, and Sceptile goes down in one hit, and he gets a crit, and that's rather unnecessary. Not that it matters because next turn, Swell is going to go down. However, the Earthquake kicks in and it does damage to Metagross. My guess he was predicting that I would, my Manectric would stay, but it wouldn't. And Metagross goes for the Hammer Arm, which does a lot of damage, but it lowers its speed. And Graceful goes down. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. He's already down for the count anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's see what he's about to bring out next. Oh, yes. Beautiful. The Milotic. This is going to be a joy. While I, meanwhile, send out my main neck trick. I'm done playing around at this point. It's time I Mega Evolve. And it's quite funny because I'm the only one of the teams that have it right here that has a Mega Evolutionary. So I evolve into Mega main neck trick, which lowers attack to both Milotic and Crocodile. However, that ended up being a side effect thanks to Competitive, which boosts Milotic's attack by two stages. And Maynectric, I it goes for the Signal Beam, which is super effective. I should have went for Thunderbolt on Milotic, because that Milotic is a more dangerous threat now that it's two a special attack higher. It takes down Metagross thanks to Scald, which I feel that personally was my mistake. That's basically my fault. Anyway, San sends in a shiny Bisharp, though I was thinking like Blue Power Ranger or something. While Mike, meanwhile, sends out Chandler, and Chandler is going to be, hopefully, going to be able to help out. I go for the Thunderbolt, and it does a lot of damage, but Bisharp, meanwhile, goes for the Psycho Cut, and it doesn't do much. Chandler, meanwhile, goes for an Energy Ball, and that takes down Beautiful. And I'm like, thank you, that threat is taken down. If it would have stayed, it would have been a big problem. However, that's the least of my worries, because now he just sends out Thickums Jr. And like every other battle we've had so far, it Mega Evolves into Mega Venusaur. I swear, that Venusaur is going to be a big problem down the road. That is, until I face it again in battle. Maynectric, meanwhile, goes for the Flamethrower, and the Flamethrower does some damage to it. But thanks to Thick Fat, it doesn't do much. Bisharp, meanwhile, goes for a Psycho Cut, and the Psycho Cut doesn't do much either. Chandler does a flamethrower itself, but his flamethrower is stronger and it has stab. And it gets a crit and it doesn't, like, do much. It would have killed it, but yeah, I'm surprised it didn't kill. I already know that it has thick fat, so I'm already prepared. Bisharp goes for a sucker punch, and that sucker punch does some serious damage. I go for one more flamethrower, and that's it. Venusaur is officially done. 
And knowing how this battle is going to end, Chandelure also goes for a flamethrower, which takes down the shiny Bisharp in one hit too. Thanks guys for the battles. I really enjoy it. I hope we do multi-battles again in the future because believe it or not, they're a lot of fun to do. That's about it for the four set multi-battles that I had over the past two di few days. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, please hit that like button. It does mean a lot to me. It does mean a lot to Mike, Sam, and Poke Madness. Make sure you check out their YouTube channels because they provide great content. And I'll see you guys next time for another Wi-Fi battle. All right. Peace, guys.